Hi, welcome back to XR for Designer. This is the second longer episode for Prototype with Maquette. Today we're going to talk about prototype workflows in Maquette to make you work faster, think faster, create something more impressive. After today's lesson, we'll learn how to work with reference and components in Maquette, which will significantly increase your uh, output quality and also quantity. And also, we're going to learn how to capture a design as pictures or videos. This is really, really important to share your work to the world. So we have four topics to help you learn these two goals. The first one, what is workflow? Second, design with reference. Third, copy, paste, reuse your component. And fourth, capture a design. Every single topic will have a little short video to explain it. So uh, let's get started. First, what is workflow? Generally speaking, when we're talking about workflows, uh, here are things that you can do with maquettes that can be improved. So first, you want to create 3D objects in maquettes. This is very common. You want to create 3D UI to mock some VR interface. You want to create a 3D object to create your VR or AR scene, right? And then you have editing. Editing involve, uh, includes scaling, selecting, coloring, grouping. Uh, but the three listed here, there are specific ways to make your perform those actions faster. And at the final, we have external assets, uh, where to find them, how to import. Uh, let's get started. So this is our first episode in the workflow series about how to design 3D UI in Maquette. So when we are talking about 3D UIs, it generally consists four elements. You have 3D object, you have icons, you have text and images. 3D objects are things that you can uh, rescale, put it elsewhere. They're just mesh. Icons are 2D images, and images are images you want to use. Let's take the example from the maquette sample or highlight scene, uh, one of the buttons. Um, let's recreate that. What we want to do is to understand the mesh, the 3D things first. First, we want to grab a capsule out. Squash it, make it flatten, make it flat, and then you can toggle on the gizmo to pull it in the x axis and duplicate. This way, you can create a long capsule button without uh, making it uh, not looking like a capsule. And then, what you want to do is you want to rotate the capsule in the x axis precisely. So what I did there was I created a surface, then I snapped the object onto that to rotate. So we have the foundation. Now we want to build the buttons. So if you look closer, the scale and the close button that we are trying to mimic, they're actually two 3D assets. They're just two uh, spheres flattened to look like a little peel. So that's what we're doing. And then we want to create the icon. So the icon is actually another kind of shape. This is an inverse um, sphere, meaning that you can see through the first layer of mesh to the inner of the ball. So you can only see the inner, not, uh, not the other, not the other side. After this, we want to create the pillar. So what we did was create a um, cylinder, stretch it, and then boom. You have the foundation 3D mesh for your 3D UI. And then uh, things get simple. What you want to do is want, you want to find the icon to place onto the 3D mesh to make it uh, communicate the function of the button. right? So you go to the maquette assets, grab the icon, and then you go for the close icon. Grab it out. What I did there was that when I get in close to the surface of the peel or the little sphere, you press the upper button to make it snap. So the distance between two are really small, and you feel like it's actually one button. Then what I want to do is to change the color. So right now, you can see I used the eyedropper incorrectly. I, I dropped the icon, which is white, and I tried to recolor the thing so it turns white altogether. Uh, now I, I drop the right one. I drop the purple, uh, use the quick tooltip to color it. And finally, we have the title. So let's type in OneNote. 
center it, change it to white, always use the snap to make things look better. Yes. So it's very simple. I don't have the icon in the center, so but you can see how simple it is to create 3D UI that fills uh, with sh with depth. Um, it's popping to you, etc. This is a more complex example of 3D UI. So you can make all these icons and buttons more skeuomorphic, making them more 3D. And by simply using um, box um, rectangle. Uh, icons, you can build something really interesting. All these books, they are grouped object. And this thing, this patent um, background, it's also just a picture with the transparent background. So this is an icon, this is a rectangle or a box. So you can see creating 3D UI can be simple, very simple in maquette. Uh, and then you can have more text heavy interfaces. You can use long lines or square to represent stuff. And then putting them together, you will have a very interesting 3D concept for interface, right? It's not that hard.